guys welcome back to another video from Zendry's home style cooking so in today's video I'll be showing you how I made my delicious beef stir fry with vegetables okay but before I go ahead and break down all the ingredients that you're going to need I want you to go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet subscribed and be a part of the family okay as well as follow me on all my social media pages it's Zendry underscore home underscore style underscore cooking on instagram as well as on facebook it's zendry home style cooking okay so let's go ahead now break down all the ingredients that we're going to need for this delicious yet simple recipe so i have here this is two pounds of beef and i'm using the flank that's the part that i'm using so i went ahead and i already you know cut up some in some tin strips as you can see they're very thinly cut as well and I also leave these where I can go ahead and demonstrate to you guys how I cut it all right so as well you're going to need some cornstarch you're going to need salt I have here some broccoli as well as carrot and remember all the correct measurement everything will be listed down below in the description so not to worry okay so I have some bell pepper, I have both green, red, and yellow. I have some white onion, some scotch bonnet pepper. I have some thinly cut garlic. This is about three cloves as well as some ginger. I'll be using some green onion or spring onion or scallion as well. Some light soy sauce, light sodium soy sauce, sorry, as well as some dark soy sauce. This is totally optional, but I'll be using some ginger, garlic, and pimento on it as well. I do not have any black pepper, so I'm going to use some cayenne pepper, which is great. All right, as well as some oyster sauce. So first thing first, I'm going to show you how I cut my beef first, okay? So what you need to look for, as you can see, when you notice that the lines are going in the opposite direction, they are going up like this so you need to cut against the grain okay so I'm just going to go ahead and place it here like so all right so my knife is not very sharp so bear with me guys okay all right so I'm going to go ahead and cut this in very thin strips like so you need to cut the opposite direction that the lines are going all right so this is not really a perfect example so I'm going to cut another one to show you guys like so and to me the beef cuts better when it is frozen all right so as you can see very thinly cut and you can see that the lines are going in the opposite direction and I cut against the grain all right, so I'm going to do a few more, like so. Just continue. And be very careful, you don't want to cut your fingers. So, continue. And I'm going to remove any fat tissue that is on the meat. Okay. Right, so as you can see, like this, and I'm going to cut this in two, like so. Alright, so I'm going to finish these off and I'm going to wash my meat with some vinegar and then I'll come back and we can. Okay, now that I've washed my meat, it's time for me to go ahead and season. So I'm just going to add a little bit of olive oil to that. I'm just going to mix it up like so okay. and I'm going to start by adding my soy sauce to that some more of the dog soy sauce I'm 
optional okay some of that just going to add some salt about a teaspoon of salt because remember sometimes the soy sauce is a little bit salty I'm going to add some cayenne pepper and roughly about a tablespoon of my corn starch okay so I'm just going to go ahead and massage this Okay, so now that my meat is finished, I'm going to cover this with some cling wrap and I'm going to allow it to marinate for half an hour and then I'm going to work on something else, okay? So I have some water here. So I have some water here boiling and I'm going to go ahead and blanch my broccoli as well as my carrots. So I'm just going to add a little bit of salt to it. And I'm just going to add them to it and I'm going to blanch it for about 30 seconds okay remember you're not cooking the broccoli or the carrot you're just blanching it all right soften it up a bit I said about 30 seconds all right I'm just going to go ahead and remove them and I'm going to add some cold water directly on it to cool it down just to stop the cooking process okay right. as iron skillet I had one and a half tablespoon of vegetable oil and I'm just going to go ahead now and start by stir frying my beef and I'm going to do it in section okay I don't want to overcrowd my pan and I'm using my cast iron because I don't have a wok which is ideal for anything stir frying okay so hence the reason I'm using this so, let's go ahead and just add it finish up the remaining okay. now that all my beef is finished stir frying and this is how it is looking I did went ahead and I changed the pot I'm just using a regular pillow frying pan as well so I'm going to go ahead now and start sauteing my vegetables so I did add one tablespoon of vegetable oil to that so I'm going to start by adding my ginger and my garlic. Yes, ginger do burn quickly, but that's not going to happen today, okay? So I'm just going to saute that. Okay, and we just want to infuse the oil with all the nice ginger and garlic paste. Ginger and garlic flavor, okay? So I'm going to add my scotch bonnet pepper and I'm going in with my white onion. bell peppers just 
going to allow these to sauce you as well and I'm going in with my spring onion at this point. And I'm going to give this about a minute or two to allow the bell peppers and the onion to soften up a bit. Okay, before adding my broccoli and my carrots. So now I'm just going in with my broccoli and my carrots at this point. And remember I did blanch them earlier. So they don't need a lot of cooking. Just look at that. Beautiful. I don't like when my vegetables over it, so I don't want to put them all the way out. And at this point, I'm going in with my beef. I'm going to give this about five minutes. No, not five minutes. I'm going to give it about two to three minutes and then we're all finished. There you have it, guys. My delicious stir fry beef with vegetables. It's just so simple, it's tasty, it's delicious. Trust me, guys, you're going to enjoy this recipe. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to plate it up and I'll say to you guys. There you have it, my delicious beef stir fry with vegetables and trust me it tastes so so delicious it's tasty it's flavorful it's tender it's just cooked to perfection okay so i want you to go ahead and try out this recipe and let me know how do you like it okay so once again i hope you did enjoy today's video and if you did don't forget to like this video, share this video, leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about today's video as well as leave your suggestion on what you like to see me prepare next on the channel, okay? And if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe and be a part of the family. Okay, so until I come your way again with something super awesome, delicious, from my kitchen to yours, take care guys and enjoy. Bye guys, I'll see you in the next one.